Stage four of the Tour de Suisse 2022 would take the riders from the west of Switzerland right to the centre, 190 kilometres, leaving Grenken and the National Velodrome, taking on two categorised climbs, finishing in Brunnen, beautiful lake country, but that big hill right at the end, ready to pose problems. Again, it was just after lunchtime when the stage started, once more under really hot temperatures. Non-starter was Kesper Askren after his crash the day before. Also, injuries and problems with the heat, forcing Tim and Ahrensman out of the race. 50 kilometers to go, three-man breakaways gap was just under two minutes. Movistar, Kofidis and EF all riding to try and drop the thicker lead sprinters and give their fast men who can climb a real chance. Holmes out there in the breakaway was picking up the points in the intermediate sprints. He'd be with Johnsons. And those two would be the last two survivors. Holmes, the last to be brought back. The gap evaporating into thin air on that final climb. It was a nervous moment for Stephen Williams, the race leader. Distanced at one point on the final second category climb. But he made a really good effort over the top to make sure he got on. Hugh Carthy would be trying his best. Mark Hirschi would have a go. Williams eventually making that effort, getting straight back on over the top and making sure he'd be in the bunch. EF Education easy post, putting all hands to the pump. Rigoberto Uran joining Carthy and trying to set up Betty Holt. The likes of Kokar were still there, however. Michael Matthews in the bunch as well. Daryl Impey hanging around around the front for the first time in a long while. Suffering an awful crash last year and getting himself into a great position as the sprint began. Andreas Kron in the white jersey would have a go. If he'd taken the bonuses, he could have led the race. Aramburu would have a go as well. In the end, it'd be Betiol who'd lead it out. He ran out of gas early, but just like the day before, a seasoned winner back to his best and at 37 years of age Daryl Impey winning a bike race for the first time since the pandemic and winning a world tour race for the first time since stage nine of the 2019 Tour de France. Daryl Impey with a superb comeback win beating Michael Matthews and Sohan Kral to the line with a whole host of other big names in the top ten. Betiol, Pitcock, Haramburu all beaten Daryl Impey back on top of the world, winning on the world tour. Stephen Williams retained the yellow jersey. The fourth day in the race lead for him as he heads into stage five. And the Welsh fans with something to cheer about. It's a six second lead for Williams ahead of Kron. Seven seconds now to Thomas and Lechnesund with the rest of the top ten at ten seconds. Stage five takes the riders up into the harder mountains. It also takes them into the beautiful Italian-speaking region of Ticino. A finish in Novazzano, very close to Como, and very close to the border with Italy. Up and down towards the end, a real tough one after 190 kilometers. The Tour de Suisse gets harder and harder, and you're about to see stage five live or on demand on GCM Plus or Discovery Plus. Lots of bike racing on at the moment. Tour de Suisse, though, not to be missed.